What's going on there, guys? We back with another one. And we got to talk about Coach Prime as he's returned for his weekly press conference early in the week to talk about Saturday's upcoming game against UCLA. And he spoke on several topics. I mean, even Ken Norton, you know, his former San Francisco 49ers teammate, a lot of things. But we're going to focus on a couple of things he talked about. And the first of those is... His viral comment last week about the players, you know, when they blew that big lead, he said the players have to determine if they are in like or in love with the game because he loves it. So um, some things are going to have to change. And he expounded on that this week, and he sent a serious message to the team. Uh, Also, he made some comments about discipline, and he talked about the people that are out there on the field making the mistakes that's consistent with who's been undisciplined. You can't have these habits on or off the field and expect them to change on game day, you know. So uh, he spoke about that, and also he reacted to Kenan Thompson's portrayal of him on Saturday Night Live. We're going to check it all out. Let's peep. Well, you got to make – they got to – they got to – what I just said in the locker room to the team is they got to make up in their mind, are they in love with this game or are they in like with it? Because when you love something, you give to it unconditionally. You give everything you got to it, but when you like it, that's just the button you push. And it lights up in a like. That's what they do on social media. So we got to figure out, do they love it or do they like it? How do you evaluate whether players love the game or like the game? And can you motivate the players to love it if they only like it? Or is that the standard that you've set and you're just going to stick with what you want? Well, actions speak louder than... uh, words you can say what you love but your actions don't line up with that love and that display of love that that's a problem Um, you can't measure the heart in football or in physical sports so that's the thing that's missing the heart of it so when you're talking about love you're talking about accompanying accompanying that with your heart playing with your heart and you could tell by the locker room uh, how some guys practice them how some guys feel the the pain of it, if we don't win, how their heart is in it. And that uh, predicates love to me. But it's tough to detect that. I wish we could detect the heart. We'll put every recruit that we have on a heart monitor and and see where they are. It would help us tremendously in recruiting the heart. That's tough, though. How do you coach discipline? Seems like that discipline a bunch of different ways Discipline does not just start on the field. Discipline starts off the field, and they carry it on the field. A dude that's undisciplined off the field, he's going to be undisciplined on the field. You can't allow that, and that's something that we got to address because if you're late to this, you're pretty much going to be undisciplined with that. If you're not consistent in following your assignments and alignments in this, you're going to be inconsistent when everybody's sprinkled in the stadium of that. So inconsistencies are – it's consistent with who makes those those mistakes. So this happened about a week ago, but I haven't had a chance to talk to you yet. Saturday Night Live parodied you. Yeah. Um, how do you think Keenan did, and maybe who has done the best parody? I'm a fan over uh, the over the over the course of your career. I'm a fan of Keenan. Let's just get that straight. I, I love him. I love what he's brought to comedy over what over got to be over a couple decades now. It seems as though. Um, I had the pleasure and the honor to to host Saturday Night Live before, and I will never forget those moments. Um, but it was it was it was good. The person who I think has me down the most is uh, what's his name? That's a good one. That's a good one. No, no, I was I was I was thinking between these two guys, but I got to give it to Lou Young. Lou, Lou. I hate to admit it, but Lou Lou is good. Lou Young is really, really good. Shallow's eye. Right. Shallow's eye. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So Coach Pride makes a lot of good points. When he's speaking about the habits of the players, it's going to go a long way in life, even for those who don't make the NFL. But he's talking about if he can't trust you to show up on time to meetings and different things like that, then – how could I expect you to be ready when it's game day? And Cormani McClain has, uh, whether rightfully or wrongfully, you know, become the face of that for Colorado because 
he's the most asked about player, and that's what comes with the five-star rating, right? Um, all the kids want it, but when you get to college, you have the immediate expectations, and when you're not reaching that, um, it could be one or two things. Either the coach is holding you back or – you're not at the level you need to be once you arrive on campus. And that's what Coach Prime is saying. He's getting them ready for greatness. And he wants them, I think he truly wants them to go out there and be great. That would help Travis Hunter tremendously. Um, and it looks like, you know, I, I don't know what the plan is, but to continue to play Travis on both sides of the ball um, at the rate that he's been playing on both sides of the ball, I think, they have to look into doing something new because you want to preserve Travis and let him be healthy for next season when you're more likely to have a more formidable roster around the board, you know. Um, also, you know, him talking about do players like or love the game, you know, that's something within yourself that, that you have. I, I don't know if you can coach that innate thing, but I know a coach can ruin it for somebody um, if they love the game. You know, they, well, their love for the game don't go away, but they want to get away from it for a while if they feel like the coaching is bad. I've seen that happen before, but just you as an individual loving the game, loving to win, loving to compete and be the best version of yourself, that rests within you. So, Coach Prime is absolutely on the money with that, and these players need to do some soul searching. Some of them do to find that in themselves, and some of these linemen need to find some pride and, you know, protect the quarterback a little bit better. Different things like that. Um, but I wanted to share that with you guys with Coach Prime coming back. Do y'all think Coach Prime and then we're going to beat another ranked team this year? Do you think? Um, because at the time TCU was ranked, do you think they have a shot at either UCLA or Oregon State? You think they have a puncher's chance? I want to know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Peace.